Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Mindy and I am a homeschooling mom to four kids. In today's video, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion and review of the Good and the Beautiful's math program for kindergarten. So my daughter just finished this program today and I can tell you that we have really loved this program. I really feel like this program solidified concepts that kindergartners should know and be able to do. I am a former public elementary school teacher. I felt that a lot of the skills that were in this kindergarten curriculum were very much on par with what my nephew is learning in kindergarten in the public school system. I also want you to know that with my daughter, we play a lot of games that also reinforce the skills and the concepts that she is learning. So I'll just show you a handful of the games that we play. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about them, but I'll just showcase some of them. Tiny Polka Dot, Moby Kids, Telling Time Game, Count Your Chicken, Making Change. What kinds of things did we like about this program? One of the things that I really liked about this program was the review box at the top of every page. You can choose to do this review box or choose to skip it, but I'll give you an example of one of the review boxes. You can see the entire lesson is counting backward 10 to one, this is lesson 65. These things right here are all review. So it says practice items that the child has not mastered. We did these every single day anyway because I really felt that it helped solidify the concepts. Another thing we really liked was the amount of time spent on each lesson. It was the perfect amount of time in my opinion. And if my daughter ever was too tired or too exhausted, it was probably something from my end, not because the lesson itself was either too short or too long. So I'm just gonna run through a lesson very quickly, just so you can see what the time length might be. You can see we did this lesson in October. This is ways to make five. So first we would do the review box, count from 10 to 20, 50 to 70, and then write the numbers 11 through 14 on a whiteboard. Um, looking at your hand, how many ways can you make five using fingers? And then using the math box, using counting sticks and the addition and equal sign, you are writing equations that equal five. And then over here, there were blank spaces. You had to draw in the circles that were missing. And then again, another form of writing equations to equal five. And then over on this page, you had to cut out these acorns for the squirrel and then figure out how many more you needed to make five. Another thing that we really liked was the amount of color and just the gorgeous illustrations in this book. My daughter and I really looked forward to the tiny little details in all of the illustrations. And in a lot of the illustrations, we kind of made it a game to see what kinds of fun things that we could spot throughout there. Here's an example of one of the gorgeous illustrations that I was talking about. This is a camping ground. What the student is doing in this picture is counting by twos through the maze from two to 20. So the student could use their finger, they could use one of the cars from the math box. So for instance, they could drive the car on it as they're counting by twos. And then they start over. And so my daughter and I loved these illustrations. We would look for the tiny little details here. So for instance, we would say to each other, what kinds of things do you see? What looks interesting to you? So there's an owl right here. And then um, down here, for instance, there's a little raccoon. The tent is open. So maybe the person went out for a walk down the stream and she would just kind of use her imagination um, with what was in the picture. Another thing that we really liked about this program was the math box. And the math box came with tools that you would be utilizing throughout the curriculum, throughout all the different lessons, and it would tell you when you were going to access these materials. In this math box, it came with three little cars if you were about, if you were going to play a game. It came with wooden dice. 
and then it came with what they refer to as counting sticks. I think there was like 15 to 20 of these. We've lost a handful of them. And then it also came with these two little game pawns. There was a blue and a green. We also lost one of those. Another thing that I really, really loved about this program is that it is a spiral program, meaning that the child is gonna be focusing on these skills and concepts over and over in a spiral fashion. They're not introduced to a concept and then expected to master it before moving on to a new concept. And I think that's really important for kids at this age if they are four, five, and six years old because their little tiny brains aren't going to remember these things and master them um, instantly. The only negative thing I had to say about this was that our book kept falling apart. <laughs> that is like the only thing. Um, and as you can see, we have pages falling out all over the place. This happened all the time. I mean, the whole entire book just fell apart. But that's really the only negative thing I have to say about this at all. And it doesn't even have anything to do with the curriculum. It's just how the book was put together. Because my daughter enjoyed math with The Good and the Beautiful, we are gonna continue to use it for first grade. So I currently have The Good and the Beautiful's Math One, and actually when we finished our course assessment today for kindergarten math, she asked if we could start Math One already, which is huge. It tells you that she really loved the program and that she wanted to dive right into the next level. So here is the course book, and then Math One also comes with a math box. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of the video. If you have any questions about The Good and the Beautiful's math curriculum for kindergarten or for grade one, please don't hesitate to let me know down below in the comments. See you next time.